Hey, how's it going? Today I've got for you a full review of the Bush Tech Gullwing for the Suzuki Jimny. But before we get into it, I just want to say a massive thank you to all my followers on Instagram and the subscribers on YouTube and everyone who's been giving me a lot of su support since I posted my last video up. So I'm going to keep continuing to film reviews of different products that I put on my own car and get to test out and get to share them with you. So to start it off, a little bit about the products. This is a textured aluminium gullwing and it either comes in the textured aluminium or a smooth uh, finish. So they're both powder coated and have pressure levers. So inside, this is an optional extra, but you've got this storage cupboard, which again is made of uh, powder coated aluminium. And then you've got just one gas strut here, but it does have the capability to have two gas struts if that's what you want to do. I'm really impressed with the overall build quality of both the gull wing itself and the storage cupboard. So as I already mentioned, I went for the textured aluminium finish, however, I'm sure it's the exact same for the smooth, but all of the hinges, um, the pressure locks, all very high quality, the seams all the way around, I've had no issues with water leak or anything like that, which is great. And for the actual storage cupboard itself, it also is really high quality. So inside you've got complete carpet, uh, and then you've got a dividing shelf in the middle. So the advantage of having the carpet is anything that is metal that's going to be rattling around in corrugated roads, it definitely gets dampened a lot by the carpet. And also if there's something that you don't want sliding around while you're driving, cornering, what you can actually do is just put a piece of Velcro on the back of anything really and it'll stick right to exactly where you want it and you don't have to worry about it sliding around. So the Gullwing itself either comes in the passenger side or driver side configuration. So regardless which one you choose, it's the same price, I think it's the same availability, but the only difference is really personal preference. So one of the things to consider is blind spots, which definitely taking out one of your windows is definitely gonna add a blind spot. But really for me, the reason I chose the passenger side is so that I can have it underneath the awning so that when I get to a camp or when I get to the beach or anything like that, I can pretty much instantly pull up, just open it up, get anything out that I need to get up. Also, if you're pulling over on the side of the road, anything that you need to get out is always gonna be on the passenger side, which is away from the road. Now I did do the installation for this window myself. The installation of the gull wing was very easy, really straightforward, the instructions that they gave, it really, really made it simple. What I found quite difficult was actually removing the window that was in there before. So I actually ended up smashing the window that was in there by accident. I spent a lot of time carefully trying to get it out, but it really didn't, just didn't go to plan. So if it's something that you're not too comfortable with, I'd probably advise just getting a glazer to remove the window. But if you want to have a crack at installing it, really straightforward. It does take around eight hours because you need to let the um, sealant set, but the actual installation time is probably around 45 minutes of actual work. So as I already said before, one of the main reasons for me getting on the passenger side was being able to use this gull wing underneath the awning. So what I actually found was the gas rut that came with it was actually too long for what I wanted it for. And when it was opening, it was opening all the way up against the awning. So I wouldn't have actually been able to pull the awning out if I wanted to. So what I did was I went to Bunnings and simply just picked up a $13 gas strut. Um, I'll leave the link in the description for that one if you want to check it out, but it's 325 mils. So it just actually stops it from opening. So the awning can come all the way out and I don't have to worry about that. It, I obviously do lose a bit of head height um, when I'm trying to get things out, but for me, because it's not really a big car, I can still easily access everything that's inside it. So if this is a product that you're interested in, I'd recommend going onto Oz Jimny. That's the importer for this product. And as far as I know, it's the only importer of the Bush Tech products into Australia. Now I'll leave the link in the description. So the gull wing is $795. And then the storage cupboard that's inside is $295. And as I said, it doesn't matter which side you get it on. It doesn't change the price. And the, whether it's a smooth or the texture finish also doesn't change the price. But it's definitely a product I can recommend. Um, yeah, really high quality, really happy with it and really functional as well. So it really just adds that little bit of space that before is pretty much dead space up against the glass, you're not having anything there. So yeah, a lot easier to access all these small things that you don't want to be looking around for when you get to camp. So I put a post up on my Instagram story asking some of my followers what they would like to know specifically about this product. And one of the questions that I got a couple of times was how is how's the security of it? So as I already mentioned, it does come with the two pressure locking hinges and they are independently locked. So for me, I'm absolutely perfectly fine with the security of it. If you're going the option with the cupboard, the added advantage of that is even if someone was to get in here, there's still a metal cupboard. So really it's anything that 
is you know in here so I wouldn't be storing camera gear or anything like that in here but for me I'm 100% comfortable with storing my belongings in here regardless of what suburb I'm in. Another question I got uh, is why do I need one of these or why does anyone need one of these and I hope I've covered that already in the video but to recap pretty much the main reason that I needed something like this was when I pull up to camp or when I arrive wherever I'm going I don't want to be looking around for all of these small things. Like I don't want to be looking around for sunscreen. I don't want to be looking around for my tent pegs or my awning pegs, my towels, mosquito repellent, anything like that. I just want to be able to reach in, quickly grab it, and then continue setting up camp or do whatever it is I want to do without rummaging through all of my bags trying to find those small things. Another question I got was, does it create a blind spot? And the short answer to that is unfortunately, yes, it does. Uh, obviously when you're shoulder checking and you're changing lanes left or you've overtaken someone or something like that you want to be looking out that back window to be able to see anything and obviously this completely takes out the possibility of that being such a small car it's not really that big of a deal um, but definitely I've just bought some of the little blind spot mirrors and that's really helped me and it does take a little bit of getting used to compared to not having it there um, but yeah on the passenger side to be honest it does create a bit of a blind spot if you were gonna go for the driver's side I think it would be a lot better but again, like I said, I solely chose the passenger side so I can open it up underneath the awning. Um, so that's just something that I'm gonna have to live with. That pretty much sums up the review. If there's any questions you'd like to ask me or anything you feel I didn't cover, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment down below. And once again, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been giving me a lot of support, both on Instagram and YouTube. It really does mean a lot. Both the Instagram page and the YouTube channel are new. So everyone that likes, subscribes, follows, it really does mean a lot. And hopefully I'll be bringing you some more content soon. I've got some more stuff in the works and looking forward to seeing you guys again.